Hello, my name is Mr. Mitchell, and I teach honors science at Coosa Middle School. And this is the syllabus for sixth grade honors science. Now, I'm not going to be sending home a paper syllabus like normal uh, where you have to sign and all. You, you are actually getting this as your syllabus to tell you about this class. Now, you know in a normal syllabus you would sign and send it back in with your child. So I'm going to do something similar here. Once you finish watching this syllabus, why don't you email me and you can say, hey, I watched the syllabus from there. So what is in sixth grade science? Well, Sixth grade science is earth science. We will start out with rocks and minerals and graduate to more things that have to do with the earth, the, the soil, the erosion, and then into the water cycle, which will include rivers, oceans, coral reefs. So you can see the earth. We actually do study a little of the inside of the earth. And then you will go to the weather. We spend a pretty good bit of time on the weather. Your child will learn about lightning and wind and thunder and so on and we'll also learn about some of the fun stuff like tornadoes and, and uh, things on the weather map um, let's see where am I oh and at the end we will go to space so I want to give you some some details about the class your child's grade your child's grade is 60 percent major grades 25 percent daily grades and 15% final exam. And this is per Floyd County Board of Education, and, and this is true through, throughout the other three county schools as well. But you can see major grades, tests, projects, etc., and daily grades, homework checks, quizzes, and so on. And you can see if you add in the 60% and 15%, that's a lot of points that have to do with test type things, major grades being tests and final exams in a test type something. Now, this being an honors class, you can kind of expect it to be a little more rigorous or hopefully a lot more rigorous than your regular sixth grade science class. So as a result, all major grades do get a seven-point curve. Now, that applies to major grades, not to daily grades. It does not apply to final exam either. But let's say your child makes an 85 on a test. The seven-point curve makes that a 92, and it goes into the grade book as a 92. Yes, every once in a while, someone will make poor tests, so poor tests may be redone. But the most they can make on a, on a retest after they've taken it the first time and done poorly is, is an 80. I don't think I should, I should give the same amount of credit for those that didn't get it the first time. Um, and there will be no curve. I, you do not get the seven-point curve, but that would perhaps be better than something like a 60 or a 50 that I've seen sometimes on, on some bad tests. Uh, let me type my email here. Feel free to email me anytime, uh, even if you're just uncomfortable about anything or just any questions about the class at all. My email address is R. Mitchell, and I, let me move that around, R. Mitchell at floydboe.net, and I have no problem at all with, with parents emailing me about, about pretty much anything, if you have any questions about class or, or whatnot, and like I said, if, if you could, uh, please email me that you have seen the syllabus after you fin after you finish it, it's, it's almost over. Uh, if you do have any questions regarding things that a, a principal or an assistant principal might can answer better, the school number is 236-1856. couple other notes, uh, books are not issued in sixth grade honors science. Now, the reason is we just have this class set, but it's going to happen many times this year where I will check out a book to someone. Um, so if your child is struggling on any particular concept or, or maybe I have some books left over and it's the day before a test I, and I have books handy, I, I could check them out a book for, for certain occasions. So it's an as-needed basis on whether I check out a book to someone. And I'll be glad to. It's just, just a matter of I can't check it out to, to everybody at once. 
Uh, I do need to talk to you about our homework. Now, I do something called the flipped classroom. And in the flipped classroom, you'll sometimes have some video homework. Now, the video homework can be accessed either on the school website or on YouTube. Now, as I'm making this, I haven't put them on the school website yet, but it's an easy thing to do. So I'll have that by the time you see this or on YouTube. So let me kind of go to... Uh, the school website here. Um, I don't know if you can see this. I'll mark this down. But the school website, I don't know if you can see that well, but it's floydboe.net. That's the Floyd County Schools website. But all you do is go up to select a school and go down to Coosa Middle School. And once you hit Coosa Middle School, you'll end up finding my web page, which you just go to teacher pages. I do honors and I will be off on the left here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see very well, but honors Mr. Mitchell, and there I am. But you see have some drop-down menus from there. Just hit the sixth grade honors science. In fact, I do have the first one up here. This right here is a link to the first video. That'll be your first homework, Mr. Mitchell 6-1. Now, this is my first year using this calendar system here, and I will do my best to try to put important things like tests and so on on the calendar. So I'm, I'm still kind of working with that, but this is where you'll find it. So this is a good place for your students to go to their first homework. So uh, here is going to be the first homework. I also have the standards right ha that happen to be there. But another way to access this is YouTube, but I'll just go ahead and click this, and it goes straight to YouTube. So your child will end up watching the video. Hello, this is Mr. Mitchell. Oh, and there I am speaking on a video in this video. That's kind of strange. But anyway, you can kind of see the gist of it. Oh, what am I doing here? Uh, I'll have some questions at the beginning of the videos. I don't know if you can see because it's pretty small here, but this is an almost 10 minute video that you, your child will be seeing on this first night. So your child will write down the questions and the answers are coming up in the video itself. So as I uh, keep playing, please hit pause and write down these questions. The answers can be found. You can kind of hear what I'm what video. I'm saying there, and then I'll have the instructional <laughs> video. So you can see from there that we're going to be talking about rocks and minerals, and I'll try to fast forward a little bit so you can see some of the things that I have there. I'll fast forward over here, yeah. So you can kind of see the gist of that. So that's kind of giving some basic instruction before your child even comes to the class. So I'll assign a particular homework for one night, they watch it, and then in class, they'll be able to know something already before they do any activities that happen to go with it. So that's kind of a little bit about the video homework that we'll have in this class. Hey, I hope your child had a wonderful time in sixth grade. Uh, I, I really hope they enjoy science. I hope they learn a lot in it. And like I said, feel free to email me at any time. And if you could, do me a favor and go ahead and email now rmitchell at floydboe.net that you did indeed see the syllabus. Hey, hope to hear from you soon.